Hey there, fellow nocturnal creatures and daytime dwellers alike. Welcome to our little corner of the internet where we dive deep into the mysteries of sleep, circadian rhythms, and why some of us just can't seem to hit the hay before the wee hours of the morning. Before we dive in, I am not a professional expert, so take this with a grain of salt. Tackling a topic that might just keep you up at night. Why night owls dive into bed at 9 p.m. sharp? Let's take a breath and unpack this whole situation. We're going to explore the science, debunk some myths, and maybe even find a silver lining or two for all you midnight oil burners out there. First things first, let's define what we mean by night owl. We're not talking about those majestic nocturnal birds with their swiveling heads and questionable who calls. No, we're talking about humans who naturally tend to stay up late and sleep in later. You know, the folks who consider 2 a.m. a perfectly reasonable bedtime and view mornings as a personal affront to their existence. On the flip side, we have our early birds, or larks, those chipper individuals who bounce out of bed at the crack of dawn, ready to seize the day while the rest of us are still drooling on our pillows. And somewhere in the middle, we have the hummingbirds, the lucky ones with more flexible sleep patterns, who can adapt to either schedule without too much fuss. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Can't we all just sleep whenever we want? Well, my dear insomniac friends, it turns out that our bodies have some pretty strong opinions about when we should be sleeping, and they're not afraid to let us know when we're messing with the program. Enter the circadian rhythm. Our internal body clock that regulates various physiological processes, including sleep-wake cycles, hormone production, and even body temperature. This nifty little system is influenced by external cues like light and darkness, helping to keep us in sync with the natural world around us. For most people, this internal clock runs on a roughly 24-hour cycle, aligning nicely with the Earth's rotation. But for night owls, this cycle can be a bit longer, sometimes stretching to 25 hours or more. This means that their bodies naturally want to stay up later and sleep in longer, which can be a real pain when the rest of the world insists on starting the day at ungodly hours. So why might this nocturnal tendency lead to a shorter lifespan? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive into the nitty-gritty of why burning the midnight oil might be burning through your years. The social jet lag struggle. Picture this. It's 2 a.m. and you're finally hitting your productivity stride. The house is quiet, the world is asleep, and you're cranking out your best work. Life is good. But then, the cruel reality of your 9 a.m. meeting comes crashing down and suddenly you're facing a night of truncated sleep and a morning of caffeine-fueled desperation. This, my friends, is what researchers call social jet lag, the misalignment between your body's natural rhythms and the demands of society. It's like constantly traveling between time zones without ever leaving your bedroom. And just like regular jet lag, it can take a toll on your health. Studies have shown that this chronic sleep deprivation and disruption of circadian rhythms can lead to a host of health issues, including increased risk of obesity and metabolic disorders, higher rates of cardiovascular disease, weakened immune system, mood disorders and mental health issues, cognitive impairment and reduced productivity. It's like your body is constantly playing catch up, never quite getting the rest and recovery it needs to function optimally. And over time, this wear and tear can add up, potentially shaving years off your life. The hormonal havoc. Now, let's talk hormones, those sneaky chemical messengers that control everything from your mood to your metabolism. When you're staying up late and sleeping in, you're essentially giving these hormones a real run for their money. Take melatonin, for example, the sleep hormone that helps regulate your sleep-wake cycle. Normally, melatonin levels rise in the evening, making you feel drowsy and ready for bed. But when you're exposed to artificial light late into the night, hello, phone scrolling and Netflix binges, your body suppresses melatonin production, making it harder to fall asleep and messing with your sleep quality. Then there's cortisol, the stress hormone that typically peaks in the morning to help you wake up and face the day. For night owls, this cortisol rhythm can get out of whack, leading to higher levels of stress and inflammation in the body. And we all know that chronic stress is about as good for your health as a diet of pure sugar and deep-fried everything. The Nutritional Nightmare Speaking of diets, let's chat about the not-so-great eating habits that often come with being a night owl. When you're up at odd hours, your eating patterns can get a bit unconventional. Late night snacking, anyone? 
Research has shown that night owls are more likely to make poor food choices, opting for high-calorie, low-nutrient foods when the midnight munchies strike. It's like your body thinks, well, we're awake at this ungodly hour. Might as well inhale an entire pizza and a pint of ice cream. This tendency towards unhealthy eating can lead to weight gain, increased risk of type 2 diabetes, and other metabolic issues. Plus, eating late at night can interfere with your digestion and sleep quality, creating a vicious cycle of poor sleep and poor health choices. The exercise excuse. Let's face it, when you're constantly sleep-deprived and running on fumes, hitting the gym isn't exactly at the top of your to-do list. Night owls often struggle to find the time and energy for regular exercise, especially when they're trying to squeeze in some extra sleep in the mornings. This lack of physical activity can contribute to a whole host of health problems, from cardiovascular issues to weakened muscles and bones. Plus, exercise is a great way to regulate your circadian rhythms and improve sleep quality, something that night owls desperately need but often miss out on. The Mental Health Menace being out of sync with the rest of the world can take a toll on your mental health, too. Night owls often report feeling isolated or disconnected from others, especially when their sleep schedules clash with social events and family obligations. This social isolation, combined with the chronic stress and sleep deprivation, can increase the risk of mood disorders like depression and anxiety. And we all know that mental health plays a crucial role in overall well-being and longevity. The Substance Abuse Slippery Slope in an attempt to cope with the demands of a daytime world, some night owls turn to substances like caffeine, alcohol, or even prescription sleep aids to regulate their sleep-wake cycles. While these might provide short-term relief, they can lead to dependency and have negative long-term effects on health. Excessive caffeine consumption can further disrupt sleep patterns, while alcohol, despite its sedative effects, actually reduces sleep quality. And don't even get me started on the potential side effects of long-term sleep medication use. The occupational hazards. Night owls often find themselves gravitating towards jobs with non-traditional hours, like shift work or freelancing. While these can be great for accommodating their natural rhythms, they come with their own set of health risks. Next. Studies have shown that shift workers have higher rates of cardiovascular disease, certain types of cancer, and metabolic disorders. Plus, working odd hours can make it even harder to maintain a healthy lifestyle, creating a perfect storm of health risks. And then, now before all you night owls out there start planning your funerals, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. While the research does suggest that night owls might have a slightly higher risk of early mortality, it's important to remember that correlation doesn't always equal causation. Many of the health risks associated with being a night owl are related to lifestyle factors that can be modified. So, if you're a die-hard night owl, all hope is not lost. Here are some strategies to help you live your best nocturnal life without cutting it short. Embrace your chronotype, but make small adjustments. Instead of fighting your natural tendencies, try gradually shifting your sleep schedule by 15, 30 minutes earlier each week. This can help you find a better balance between your body's needs and societal demands. Practice good sleep hygiene. Create a relaxing bedtime routine, limit screen time before bed, and make your sleeping environment as dark and comfortable as possible. Get some morning light. Even if you're not an early riser, try to get some natural light exposure soon after waking up. This can help regulate your circadian rhythms and improve your overall sleep quality. Be mindful of your diet. Try to avoid heavy meals late at night and opt for healthier snack options when those midnight cravings hit. Find creative ways to stay active. If morning workouts aren't your thing, look for opportunities to incorporate movement throughout your day or find evening exercise classes that fit your schedule. Prioritize social connections. Make an effort to maintain relationships and social activities, even if it means occasionally adjusting your sleep schedule. Consider your career choices. Look for jobs that offer flexible hours or remote work options that can better accommodate your natural rhythms. Use technology to your advantage. Try using apps and devices that track your sleep patterns and help you optimize your rest. Talk to your doctor. If you're really struggling with your sleep schedule, Consider consulting a sleep specialist who can provide personalized advice and treatment options. Remember, being a night owl isn't a death sentence. It's just a different way of experiencing the world. With a little awareness and some smart lifestyle choices, you can embrace your nocturnal nature while still taking care of your health and well-being. 
In conclusion, while the research might suggest that night owls have a tougher road ahead, it's not all doom and gloom. By understanding the potential risks and taking proactive steps to mitigate them, you can still live a long, healthy, and fulfilling life, even if your idea of a perfect morning is one that starts at noon. So to all you night owls out there, keep shining in the darkness, but maybe consider investing in some blackout curtains and a really good alarm clock. Your future self, and your lifespan, might just thank you for it. And hey, if all else fails, you can always move to a country with a later rising culture. Spain, anyone? Siestas and late night tapas sound pretty good right about now. Sweet dreams, night owls whenever you choose to have them, 